So we're two months into 2021 and we already have the best cars of the year list. 10 top picks that uh, have very high standards for performance, safety, reliability, and much more. This is my friends over at Consumer Report. So I'm going to break this down by price category and then size category, beginning with vehicles under $25,000 and the small car category. So let's get started. And we begin with a Toyota Corolla. You knew we'd have a Toyota on the list. If not first, it'd have to be somewhere on the list. You might think that buying a budget price car means compromising on performance and comfort. No sorry, Bob. But some inexpensive rides punch above their weight year after year when it comes to value. And that's what this does under 25 gram. The tried and true Corolla which delivers terrific fuel economy, as you would expect, has more standard safety features in some cars at twice the price, which is disturbing, and earns top marks for predicted reliability. The core model is a sedan powered by a thrifty four-cylinder engine delivering 33 miles per gallon overall, 45 on the highway. There's also an impressive hybrid version, a green choice that earns 48 miles per gallon overall and 59 on the highway. So that's a winner. Even with its extreme efficiency, the Corolla is enjoyable to drive. I reviewed this a number of times. The steering wheel is well weighted. There's limited lean when uh, tackling corners and the ride is among the best in the class. If you want something a little spicier, choose the X S E trim or the nimble hatchback, this according to Consumer Reports. So the official stats, one more time, on the 21 Corolla, MSRP between 20 and 28 grand, overall mile per gallon is 33, so looking at 23 city, 45 on the highway for a compact car. Moving on to the subcompact SUV category, a vehicle I have reviewed a number of times, the Mazda CX-30. This small, urban-friendly vehicle has a more spirited driving feel than its main rivals with responsive handling and a firm ride, according to Consumer Reports. And it out-accelerates most competitors, even with its base 2.5-liter four-cylinder, although that thrust does come with some engine noise. In a class filled with joyless CVTs. This car's conventional six-speed automatic delivers it the satisfaction of traditional shifts. A new turbo engine for 21 adds even more oomph to this mighty might. Its main superpower is the winning combination of key safety standard equipment and much better than average predicted reliability. What's your superpower, by the way? Comment below. The numbers. $22,000 to $34,000. Overall mile per gallon is 27, so 18 city, 37 on the highway. Moving on to the hybrid category, another Toyota. You guessed it, a Prius. For over two decades, the Prius hybrid has set the standard for fuel-efficient cars. There are more competitors than ever right now out there for automakers to try to catch up with, but none of them offer a high-efficiency model with such a balanced overall package, says Consumer Reports. Sure, some cars might have the 52 miles per gallon overall, but no rival can replicate the Prius's top marks for reliability and owner satisfaction, and that's a big plus. When owners give it a owner satisfaction rating that is high marks, you know it's good. Ultimately, that's the highest praise. It speaks volumes that such a mechanically complex car can deliver rock-solid reliability and thrills owners year after year. I just said that. Recent innovations include an all-wheel drive option and the Prius Prime. I've reviewed that one. A nicely outfitted plug-in version gives 25 miles of electric-only range. If you want to spend less time at the pump and the repair shop, this is the car to buy. Price point between $24,500 and $32,650. So overall miles per gallon, 52. Looking at 43 city, 59 on the highway. In the midsize sedan category, you may think Toyota is paying consumer reports. Not for me to say, but the Camry is number one. The Camry fends off would-be challengers with its mix of efficiency, performance, and reliability. I love this vehicle. I reviewed it a number of times as well. This solid choice is newly available with... All-wheel drive. Everyone's going with all-wheel drive. I like that. Looking for extremely reliable family transportation on a budget? This car does it. Uh, key safety and driver assistance features are all around. Its four-cylinder engine is energetic yet frugal, delivering 32 miles per gallon overall. For a sportier experience, SE or XSE bring a more expensive exterior, 
expressive exterior, tauter suspension, and a more athletic character. If you want to burn even less fuel, some people do, the hybrid gets a stunning 47 miles per gallon overall and has obviously quick acceleration. So between 25,000 and 35.5 and 20 city, 49 on the highway. All right, small SUV category. How about a Subaru Forester? It has been the top pick for eight straight years with consumer reports. Clearly, Subaru knows what they're doing with their small SUVs, and it has, hasn't deviated much from that winning formula over time. They do a great job. The Forester stands out by being so easy to live with. It's a big, very popular car in the Pacific Northwest. The tall roof line creates a spacious interior that seems to defy the exterior dimensions. I love reviewing and driving Subarus. These facets combine to create the best outward visibility of any vehicle beyond a bicycle. That's what they say, making it easy to view the road all around you. Obviously, people put bicycles on top of their Subarus as well. Uh, this adds an airy feel and can help with parking. Fuel economy is impressive, especially for an SUV that isn't a diesel or hybrid. And every Forester comes with standard all-wheel drive and a generous roster of active safety features. So we're looking at between 25 roughly, and $35,000. Overall miles per gallon, 28, so 20 city, 38 on the highway. Okay, between $35,000 and $45,000, they are going with a SUV wagon in the Subaru Outback. I can't argue with it. I know there's other choices out there, but this is one of the best they say. So is it a wagon or an SUV? Who cares? The Outback has a great way to balance car-like driving maneuvers and efficiency with SUV-like functionality. It's a do-it-all vehicle with a broad appeal. As I mentioned before, it's so popular here. I'm sure with other outdoor communities too. It has a comfortable interior, generous passenger space, roomy cargo section, and clever rails in the roof rack that swing across when needed and stow neatly to decide to become more aerodynamic when not in use. I reviewed this one recently as well. The Outback has a ride that outshines some luxury models in the way it swallows bumps. They have an XT that adds effortless acceleration for an extra kick in the keister. So whatever you call it, the Outback is simply a smart choice. Price point between just under $27,000 and right around $40,000 at the top mark. Fuel economy, 24, mixed driving, 16 city, kind of low, and 32 on the highway. I've been singing the praises of this vehicle for a long time, ever since I got the 2020 version mid-size three-row SUV. They're calling for the Kia Telluride. For all you snobs out there that don't like Kias or Hyundais, booyah, here it is. Last year, this vehicle became the new benchmark for three-row SUVs, thanks to its thoughtful, non-compromising design. It's won so many awards. Now in its second year on the top pick list, it still dominates this popular segment with stellar road tests and overall scores. And surveys from Consumer Reports shows that owners love it. So drive one before you judge it. This isn't a model that thrives on flash. Instead, it stands out by being highly competent in almost every single way. The large, upright design gives it easy access and broad visibility. The cabin is spacious and controls are simple. The seats are comfortable in each and every row. And the front and second row being especially accommodating. The powertrain teams a V6 with a conventional 8-speed automatic to create effortless power, which contributes to a quiet interior on par with an ultra-luxury model. I said that, so did Consumer Reports. Plus, the ride is supple and handling is secure. It delivers a lot of SUV for the money. Speaking of money, price point between 32 ish and under 45 grand. Overall miles per gallon, 21, 14 city, 30 on the highway. All right, how about compact pickup trucks? You might be surprised. I know some of you are going to cry about this. I have in the past, but it's a legit Honda Ridgeline, according to Consumer Reports. This highly innovative, newly updated truck can haul dirt bikes and tow a small trailer, but was designed to excel in daily commute. Basically, in my opinion, this is a Honda Pilot with a truck bed. Swing open or fold down the tailgate, and you can access a lockable uh, underbed storage box that can double as a cooler. Some versions offer unique built-in bed sound system for tailgating. The 3.5-liter V6 is slick and powerful. At 20 miles per gallon overall in Consumer Reports tests, the Ridgeline is also the most fuel-efficient truck that's not a diesel or hybrid powered, and the ride is comfortable and composed. I like the vehicle. I do, but I just, it's surprising that you have a Honda as the most popular and best car of the year in this category for compact pickup trucks, right? You think maybe, maybe you go for a Toyota or a Ford Ranger, something like that. So price point between 36.5 and 44 grand. 
13 city, 29 miles per gallon on the highway. Moving to the 45 to $55,000 category in the midsize SUV lineup, Lexus RX. It continues to set the standard for the midsize luxury SUV segment, serving up a good combination of comfort, performance, safety, and reliability that can't be beat. Everything about this is smooth and luxurious from the plush ride to the hushed cabin and wide supple seats. The base engine is a silky V6 that packs power, but the rear treat is the hybrid. It feels quicker with more immediate response from the electric motors, according to Consumer Reports, and it delivers an impressive 90 mi 29 miles per gallon overall. For those of you who want to crave a little bit more something else, the F Sport variant with more supportive seats adds some flair to that. Lexus continues to make upgrades to the RX, and even though this generation has been on sale for years, the addition of blind spot warning, rear cross traffic warning as standard, makes it a more desirable vehicle than before. For those who need three rows, there's a slightly longer L version with a small third row, and all third rows are usually small, especially in this category. Price point between forty-five and fifty-seven thousand dollars. That's why it falls under this category. City miles per gallon, 14, up to 31 on the highway. All right. Looking for an electric car? This is the best car of the year in the electric category. You know what it is? It's what I have in the driveway. Tesla Model 3. It delivers an otherworldly driving experience. If you haven't driven an all-electric vehicle or the Tesla, got to try it, man. We bought it sight unseen. Um and it, we were just blown away by how simple it is and how powerful and quick it is. It's punchy acceleration that comes on with quite the surge. In their test, Consumer Reports, 060, 5.3, quicker than a Dodge Challenger V8. This uncanny performance is matched with sharp handling and precise steering befitting a sports sedan. The minimalist interior has a futuristic design aesthetic with a massive 15-inch touchscreen that's used for most controls, but the screen is distracting to use for some people. You really got to get used to it. It's a different look altogether. Innovations abound from the car's keyless access to Tesla's ability to send over-the-air updates that continue to add features well after the car is bought. Another notable Tesla advantage is being able to charge relatively quickly on the go. Being green has never been so much fun. It's really not that expensive when you consider it compared to other vehicles. 38 to 55 grand. Overall miles per gallon E electric is 130. City 136, highway 123. This thing is sweet. I love it. No regrets at all buying a Tesla Model 3. So those, my friends, are the best cars of the year, according to Consumer Reports. I threw my two cents in there as well. So what do you think? Agree? Disagree? Have other suggestions you want to leave in the comment section below? That's where we can continue the conversation. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Adios. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.